Welcome back to the fifth part in this series in the content feed application. In this one, we're going to carry on when we left off with the problem with the cores. We can see we've got an error here in the console. And what it's pretty much saying is that we are trying to make a request. So if we remember from this React app, we are trying to make a request to our local API, which is our Django REST framework API, uh, at API item. And in trying to do that, it says that we have a HTTP header that doesn't exist, uh, which which is expected to be there. Now what cause is essentially, or cross-origin resource sharing, is a way for uh, the browser to pretty much allow our JavaScript app or access to resources or deny it based on whether it has has permissions. So there's a couple of ways to get around this. Firstly, we could uh, sort of do the simplest solution, which is to tell the browser to not bother with that check. We could just enable calls in the browser. And I'll show you that approach quickly. So I've actually got a plugin installed in my uh, Chrome browser, and it's just called Cause, so you can, you can Google for the plugin. And this just gives you a switch. And this will sort of tell the browser to not worry about that for now. And I think we refresh this application, then it goes away. And it says undefined because I think I noticed in this, uh, we don't actually need this, so I don't know why I did that. When we're doing then, uh, we shouldn't have the, the sort of curly braces around like we did. But if I do that, we see we get the data back from the API, which is exactly what we want in our, Re our React app. We can start to work with that data. But the problem is, is this isn't really a proper solution. It really only solves it for development. And even then, you have to install the plugin. So we really want to fix the fundamental problem, which is the fact that the header doesn't exist within our API response. So there's there's a sort of manual process to be able to do this, which we could add middleware within our Django app to be able to uh, add that header to the request manually. But there's a package that is recommended by the Django REST framework that allows us to pretty much have that done for us in a better sort of tested way as well. So I'm going to use the package uh, called Django Cores Headers and we're going to integrate that into our application and fix this problem uh, in a better way than just doing it manually ourselves. So the first thing that I want to do to install this new package is I want to go to my command line. I'm going to exit the server for now and this is the server for the API remember so not the front end which is the React or NPM server. I'm going to pip install within my virtual environment Django cause headers and that's going to go ahead and grab that package and then what I want to do is I want to install that within my application so if I go back to the back end project and I go to the settings we also want to add in here uh, another a Django app and that's going to be called cause headers and then all we need to do is we need to make another settings change which is to the middleware here and I'm just going to add above uh, Django common middleware I'm just going to add another one from cores headers so in other words the app we've just included uh, dot middleware dot cores middleware So if I make sure I put a comma on the end of that, and I'm going to run the server again, remembering to expose that port so that our front end can communicate with it, and then I'm going to refresh. Now as you can see here, we're still getting the same error, and that's because even though we have now got the, the, the package as a dependency and installed correctly, we have not yet configured in this case localhost 3000 to be whitelisted as something which is allowed to communicate with our API endpoint or resource. So I'm going to specify in the settings. So at the bottom of the settings file you can see up above I've actually added the middleware in uh, as I said previously but now I want to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, so I'm going to add a setting and that's going to be uh, cause origin whitelist and in that I just want to specify exactly uh, what is going to be allowed to access this resource uh, in other words when do I set the appropriate headers to give access uh, for a remote front end to have access to our API data uh, in this case I'm just going to keep it simple but I'm going to specify 
because you can't specify regular expressions and stuff, but I'm just going to specify literally just localhost 3000. And this variable, it does actually expect a tuple, so I'm going to put that comma on, that's important. And now if I refresh, uh, so let me double check that server is running correctly. Uh, that crashed for some reason. And now if I refresh, you can see we've got the data back, which is what we'd expect, because if we look at our React app, so I'm going to go back to the other front end, uh, or to the front end part, sorry, and you can see it's supposed to console log the results, which is exactly what it's doing. So that's how we can really easily fix the issue with the headers in the HTTP request that we're having within our Django REST framework API view sets. In the next one, I'm going to do some basic front end work, maybe with Bootstrap or something, to allow us to have a basic way to see our content in our application rather than just in the console.